the vice presidential debate didn't have the fireworks of the first presidential debate, but Pence's lies were just as egregious as Trump's. The only honest thing about Pence last night was the fly on his head. From the moment he was tapped to be Donald Trump's second in command, Mike Pence has served a single purpose, to put a placid, halfway respectable face on the disastrous, cruel policies of his boss. And that's exactly what he did last night. Pence lied, just like his boss. Everything that he told the president in the Oval Office, the president told the American people. The vice president and the president were informed about the nature of this pandemic. They were informed that it's lethal in consequence, that it is airborne, that it will affect young people, and they knew what was happening and they didn't tell you. He flouted the debate rules, just like his boss. But Let thank me you, also Vice say, President Pence. Vice the President American people deserve, you know, Susan, the American Pence. people deserve I didn't to die. know. Vice President Pence. He evaded hard questions, like his boss. Would you want your home state to ban all abortions? You have two minutes, uninterrupted. Well, thank you for the question, but I'll use a little bit of my time to respond to that very important issue before. The American people deserve to know Qasem Soleimani, the Iranian general, was responsible for the death of hundreds. And just like Trump last week, Pence refused to condemn white supremacy. After Harris highlighted Trump's 2017 comments, characterizing neo-Nazis in Charlottesville as very fine people, Pence attacked the media. You know, I think this is one of the things that uh, makes people dislike the media so much in this country, Susan and tried to justify Trump's despicable remarks. He touted the fact that Trump has Jewish grandchildren as an apparent excuse for Trump's repeated refusal to condemn white supremacy and tackle the lethal threat it poses. President Trump has Jewish grandchildren. His daughter and son-in-law are Jewish. This is a president who, who respects and cherishes all of the American people. He concluded his non-answer by omitting any outright condemnation of white supremacy himself, instead claiming outrageously. This presumption that you hear consistently uh, from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris that, uh, that America is systemically racist, mm. and that as Joe Biden said, that he believes that law enforcement has an implicit bias against minorities uh, is, is a great insult. He said he hoped Amy Coney Barrett would get a fair hearing. She will bring a lifetime of experience and a sizable American family to the Supreme Court of the United States. And our hope is in the hearing next week, unlike Justice Kavanaugh received with treatment from you and others, we hope she gets a fair hearing. As Kamala Harris pointed out, four million people have already voted in this election and 56% of Americans think the winner should fill the Supreme Court vacancy. Meanwhile, Pence's boss has instructed Senate Republicans to stop negotiations over the stimulus so Republicans can focus on ramming through Trump's nominee after they refused to give Obama's nominee a vote for 293 days. There's nothing fair about this process, and Pence knows it. He doubled down on Trump's dangerous conspiracy theories. When asked about Trump's refusal to commit to a peaceful transfer of power, he rehashed Trump's conspiracies about impeachment and the Russia investigation and pushed Trump's absurd claim that mail-in voting creates a massive opportunity for fraud. President Trump and I are fighting every day in courthouses to prevent Joe Biden and Kamala Harris from changing the rules and creating this universal mail-in voting that'll create a massive opportunity for voter fraud. Well, that's just rubbish. The Right Wing Heritage Foundation, after examining 36 years of mail-in ballots, found only 1,285 cases of voter fraud out of nearly 2 billion votes cast. That's a rate of 0.0000007%. Most importantly, Pence refused to commit to a peaceful transfer of power if Trump loses. This is a worrisome sign of what may be to come. What would be your role and responsibility as vice president? What would you personally do? You have two minutes. Well, Susan, first and foremost, I think we're going to win this election. Throughout the entire debate, Pence talked over Kamala Harris and moderator Susan Page, who allowed him to go way over time, avoid her questions, and lie endlessly. I did 
not, excuse me, Susan. I did not create the rules for tonight. Joe Biden. You, and your Trump. campaigns agreed to the rules for tonight's I, debate I, with I, the Commission on Presidential Debates. I'm here to enforce them, which involves moving from one topic to another, giving roughly equal time to both of you, right which ahead. is what I'm trying very hard to Go do. Go right ahead. He showed utter contempt for the debate process. He even had the gall to demand that Harris answer his own questions in typical misogynistic fashion, even as he repeatedly evaded the moderator's questions. In 1864... Well, I'd like you to answer the question. Yeah, Mr. Yes, Vice sure. President, I'm Please. speaking. Please. I'm speaking. Look, make no mistake. Pence is a slick version of Donald Trump and just as dangerous as the liar-in-chief.